You ever watch a bunch of Rachel Maxey's videos all in a row and think to yourself, I want to be a hobbit when I grow up. All right, let's talk patterns. So for this light brown here, I think I'm going to be making a kind of dirndl bodice out of this or like a corset, whatever you want to call it. It's not any of those things really. It's like this saloon girl bodice, but that's the plan. This is Butterick 3906 and that's the plan for this lighter brown suede. For this dark brown fabric here, I think I'm going to be making a pinafore. I have this blue wool pinafore right here and essentially it's mostly just a rectangular skirt. It's got some pleats and then it's got a cute apron. I don't think I'm going to be copying this exactly because I think I want the apron part to be a little bit bigger, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, we'll figure it out. For this last fabric here, I'm just going to be doing a really simple rectangular gathered skirt and that will be fairly straightforward. So that is the plan for all of those. We've got one actual pattern and then the other two are just going to be either taken off of something else or literally it's just a rectangle. You don't need a pattern for a rectangle. Great. I wanted to talk really quickly about the lapped zipper. Um, I used to have a lot of trouble making lapped zippers, but it's not as difficult as it seems, as it turns out. So this is a lapped zipper. Basically, you have your zipper hidden behind a little flap. This flap goes towards the back because you kind of want all of your flappy parts to go towards the back. Like, think aerodynamic, I suppose. So how you put this together is you do the normal kind of zipper hack where you baste your seam together and then you lay your zipper behind the seam. You'll sew your zipper down on one side. Make sure you baste it all in before because it'll make your life a lot easier. You stitch it on the one side, then you'll flip your zipper face up, fold it back on the stitched edge, and then you're gonna stitch right next to that zipper again, making that fold permanent. Then you're gonna put everything right side out and then what should happen is that this side should be stitched down like this fold right here. That's what you did in the last step. And you're just going to stitch right around that zipper and then open it up and then you'll have a nice left zipper. So the green skirt is done. Basically all I have left to do is closures uh, like the hooks and snaps and whatever. But I'm going to wait to do all three of them at once at the very end. So we can move on to the brown skirt now.
for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, some thoughts on the sewing process and how everything went. Um, I think everything went really well. Let's see, I kind of copied this off of um, cottage core things. They have a pinafore that looks kind of similar. Uh, so I ended up just kind of making this last minute because I saw it on Instagram and decided I wanted it, but didn't want to buy stuff from China. So <laughs> that's why I kind of just added this at the last minute. Um, I hope that you guys got some good ideas. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that was exciting. Uh, let's never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I'm a, a huge mess right now. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what happens when you set your hair on fire. <laughs> Don't do this at home, please. <laughs> um, anyways, so I had a lot of fun making these. I think that they I don't look like a hobbit. Uh, I think that Rachel Maxi pulls off the hobbit look a lot better than me because she's got like cute curly red hair and like my hair, this is really as much as my hair will curl and uh, yeah, so I just don't really have a very hoppity look, but I hope that it still looked okay anyways. I think I looked cute, so, um, yeah, so that, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. We don't always fit the aesthetics that we want to dress as, but we try anyways. I really like making the interchangeable pinafores that just, like, hook on, and I think it makes it so I can wear all of my clothing in lots of different outfits and I'm not just like stuck to the few outfits that I have because as you've probably noticed, I wear the same four outfits over and over again and that's it. Yeah, so I think that's about all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fun ideas for clothing for yourselves. If you liked this video, please drop a like. If you had anything specific that you had questions or comments about or you just liked parts of the video, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, also comment that, but also subscribe because I am hoping to make more movie aesthetic based clothes in the future because I don't want to buy clothes, but I always want more clothes. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.